1900, there were 1.6 billion people on Earth. By the year 2000, that number had skyrocketed to 6.1 billion. This astounding rate of growth has slowed, but the trend is still heading dramatically upward. World population is expected to pass 7 billion in late October and 9 billion by 2050, and the latest UN projections put it at roughly 10 billion in 2100. But in truth, no one knows exactly how high population will grow or when it might flatline. All population projections are uncertain, as they are entirely dependent on assumptions about the future. In that sense, these numbers can be considered best scientific guesses, not destiny. Moreover, the further out one looks, the cloudier these projections become. Still, they offer a window into an otherwise unknown future. Over the next few minutes, we're going to guide you through some of these projections, showing you past trends in population, a modern day snapshot, and the outlook for coming decades. The world has never seen anything like the population explosion of the past century. Four billion people have been added to the planet since 1950, and the time it takes to add one billion people has dropped to just 13 years. The United Nations predicts that world population could reach 9.3 billion by 2050. Region by region, however, the rate of population growth varies substantially. Less developed countries are growing rapidly, while more developed countries are growing slowly, if at all. The UN has forecasted population out to the year 2100, but those projections are even more uncertain than those for 2050. The medium variant most commonly used assumes the average woman in 2100 will have two children. If she had half a child more or less, the picture would change dramatically. Maintaining the current fertility rate would have the most dramatic effect of all. Looking back, much of the population growth of the past 50 years is due to spectacular gains in life expectancy in developing countries, reflecting advances in public health and medicine. The period of most rapid population growth is behind us. The growth rate has declined since its peak from 1965 to 1970, falling by roughly half in 40 years as women have had fewer children. In the last 50 years, the global fertility rate has dropped from 5 to 2.5, and the average woman in developing countries, excluding China, now has three children, down from six. But that downward trend in fertility masks sharp regional differences. Since 1970, Asia and Latin America have seen the steepest drops while in Sub-Saharan Africa, fertility remains high. In general, high fertility rates are associated with poverty and low levels of educational attainment for girls. What is the ideal number of children in a family? Let's take a look at responses to that question from women around the world. Virtually all population growth from now until 2050 will occur in developing countries, with the largest growth concentrated in the poorest countries of the world. Because of Sub-Saharan Africa's high fertility rate, the fastest growth will occur there. But despite a slower growth rate, Asia, largely India and China, will still account for the bulk of the world's population in 2050. The age distribution within a society also varies by region. These are population pyramids, also known as age structure diagrams. Each bar represents an age increment from the youngest at the bottom to the oldest at the top, and the overall shape illustrates the age distribution within a given population. In developing countries, the large proportion of young people, indicated by a robust pyramid shape, ensures rapid population growth. But the aging population in more developed countries, with few future parents, spells little or no growth. To demonstrate this, compare today's young and aging populations in Sub-Saharan Africa and Europe.
By the year 2050, the population of developing countries will far outstrip the population of developed countries. A look at Nigeria and Japan today suggests what's ahead. Given Nigeria's high birth rate and large number of women of childbearing age, its population is expected to more than double by 2050. The population of Japan, however, is expected to decline. If these general trends continue into the year 2050, developed countries will not have enough workers to support the higher costs of their aging populations. Developing countries with young populations will not have enough jobs. What's more, international migration is set to increase. In the year 2050, more and more people will be living in cities and towns, with the fastest rate of urbanization occurring in less developed countries. This amplified urbanization in less developed countries is reflected by the projected change in rankings of the most populous cities from 1975 to 2025. The infographics you've seen here were produced as part of a special issue of Science Magazine all about population. All of this information and more can be found on the Science website.